Hi everyone, my name is Savannah and welcome to my channel. Um, this channel is a crafting channel, that is what I do, so I'm here to just show what I have worked on within the last week. Um, so I do knitting, cross stitch, and a whole plethora of other crafts, it's just knitting is my main, cross stitch um, is kind of like my second um, craft of choice right now. It used to be my main for like the last couple of years, it was my main hobby, but right now it's knitting. Um, so, so yeah, I did not bring my cross stitch down to show today. Um, I did not get a lot of progress done on it, so I didn't want to, you know, show just that little bit. Um, so I have all knitting. I do have my punch needle, um, that I showed last week and, um, some yarn I dyed up yesterday for the shop. So I do own a shop, a yarn dyeing shop. Uh, it's called soulivydyesyarn.com. Um, I will have all my links down below, social media links, my shop link, um, links to everything that I talk about, mostly, mostly um, everything I talk about. I'm not going to have a link for my cro uh, punch needle just because I bought that at Joann's. It was a, a Joann's purchase. Um, but yeah, oh, and Orange has come to join us. Here is Orange, this guy. He hears me chit-chatting and he's got to come see what I'm doing. Um, what else? <laughs> what else can I say? And he's gonna bump the camera, of course. Hey, Orangey, come here. Lay right here. All right, so I have actually two and a half finishes to show today, which is awesome. Sorry, he wants a couple pets real quick. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you what date it is and the time. So it's 7.57 on May 18th, 2021. <laughs> a little early this morning. I just dropped off the children. Um, and I had already had most of my stuff set up. I was kind of prepared today. So <laughs> we're into it nice and early this morning so I can get other chores and things done before I have to go to work today, which I don't want to do. It's nice rainy. It's a rainy day. Um, it's so funny. The, all last week, the forecast had said it was going to thunderstorm and rain, like, every single day. We got nothing. Not a single thing at all. All week. Um, and then finally today. Or yet, last night. Um, last night, we got a downpour. And then the, today, it's drizzly. It says it's supposed to rain all day. So I'm not looking forward to going out. But I have to. i got to get cat food as well, so... I'll just go see if I can make some orders, you know, deliver some orders, and then get some cat food too, because my boys, hey, don't bite. <laughs> um. Anyways, sorry, let's go ahead and get into those finishes. Oh, I didn't bring my sock blockers, it's okay. I finished my All the Frills socks. Um, I finished these last week, late last week, and I ended up wearing them twice already. Um, so knitting with a bare yarn or a whiter, you know, creamy yarn is definitely going to, like I said, I wore them only twice and they're already, and I just washed these too. Yeah, they're, they're stained, I guess you could say. Definitely showing wear. <laughs> um, so this yarn, <clears throat> real quick is um this my lollipop experiment when I took lollipops on a sock blank um and dyed the yarn that way and this is how it knit up really cute it looks like um to me it reminds me of fruity pebbles but that's just because it's what my kids have been eating lately for breakfast fruity pebbles and they always leave a couple in the milk <laughs> for me in the sink um, my friends, uh, have mentioned it looks like Funfetti cake, which it does. So it's very fun. But I'm just calling them my lollipop socks, since I use lollipops. <sighs> Excuse me. 
Um, uh, the pattern is by Summer Lee Designs. It's part of her shorty sock collection. Um, so it's just a ruffled cuff wool and ribbing, one by one ribbing. Um, uh, heel flap and gusset. And then straight stocking it all the way down. So these were my first fully finished uh, socks with a gusset, uh, heel flap and gusset. So I wasn't entirely sure how many rows to do before I did my toe. Because when I do an afterthought heel, I know I to do just 60 rounds and then do my toe and it's perfect. With this, I wasn't sure what to do. So I only did, I think, 53 rounds-ish. Because I counted after the fact. So I was trying to like... Um, figure out where to start counting from the last decrease. Um, so it was about 53 rounds and it is a little tight. Just a little tight on my foot. Um, lengthwise this way. So I did um, adjust it with this um, next. This one is my half finish real quick. So I half finished my May sock. <laughs> this um, this pattern is called Whistle Down Sock, and it is by Twin Set and Pearl. Um, the yarn is Mystery Lake by Spectacular Yarns. Such a pretty yarn. So for this one, I made sure to count. This is my um the right before. This is the round right after my last decrease for my gusset. And then I counted and I did 56 rounds instead. And it, it fits much nicer. So yeah, there is a lace bit um, on the top. The cuff, cuff is different. It's really nice. Um, it's not fun to knit only because I'm doing it on nine inch circulars, which I'll show you. I just started the second one, but nine inch circulars. The, um, the cuff is a two by one. So purl to knit one, but the knit one is a twisted knit stitch. But it looks cool. It's 20 rounds that, you got your um, your lace bit and then the rest is stockinette all the way down. Super fun. So I really need to get that second sock going because I need to have these done before the end of May. I still can't remember who made this. I can't remember at all. I wish I could. I'm sure if I just looked on Etsy, like my Etsy purchases, I could figure it out. So I got a full set of socks done. I have a half sock, a half finish object done. So one sock and then my big finish, you guys. I finished my, what is this, the Radvent um, cardigan by Amba O'Brien. I finished it, finished it last night, right before, finished weaving in ends by 10 o'clock, which is my bedtime. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Got it finished. Um, so it does need, here, let's see if I can get up um shoot i might edit some of this out all right so i'm going to try it on and edit it out maybe we'll see <laughs> i don't normally show this much skin and i got a cat hair on my boob okay <laughs> that might be entertaining to keep in huh so I have not blocked it, obviously, because I just we, uh, woven in the ends last night before bed. I wanted to be able to show this today, so I did not block it. But, oh, sleeve. Other one. So it is a cropped cardi. I do need to find buttons, because there are three buttonholes on this side. And you're supposed to be able to button it like this. So I'm hoping this stretches just a little when blocking. Um, 
to loosen up a little bit because this is kind of uh, pulling it tight right here. I know this this yarn up here is cotton. It's not going to do anything, I don't think. But my bands are this gray is a um, regular 75-25% merino uh, nylon mix blend, whatever you want to call it. So I'm hoping that that maybe you know stretches grows just a little bit so it's not as um, tight but yeah I really really like it it feels really good um, cotton is so nice to wear especially in the summer um, like I mentioned earlier or unless I'm unless I edited it out um, I don't show a lot of skin this is a lot of skin for me showing this much skin is a lot um, I don't know, as the older I've gotten, the more I just don't want to show my skin. And I do tend to get cold, like all the time, even in the summer. Um, just the slightest breeze and I'm freezing. So this would be really nice to keep my war arms um, covered, warm. Um, when it does get hot, yeah, I'll put a tank top on. It's just, I don't know, I've gotten super conscious I guess I don't know why I'm not entirely sure why but just the older I've gotten the less I show all that <laughs> um but yeah this is really nice I was able to close up those holes under the armpits real well um and yeah so the yarn again this cotton is from monsoon calamity uh yarns.com yarn.com She's in Canada. She makes um, these giant gradient cakes with cotton. So it's a four-stranded cotton. Um, she also does, I believe, a DK and a worsted. So it'd be more strands. Um, but this is the, the fingering weights um, one. And um, it's a gradient cake. So this was the middle. This is the middle color. And it goes all the way to the... The darkest color in the back. This one was called Nova. Nova? I always want to keep thinking it's Luna, but it's it's Nova. So there you go. Monsoon Calamity um, yarn.com. It's not focusing. Everything again is linked below. Um, you can get different size cakes. Um, I always get the 1050 yard cake. Um, bigger, better. So it's about um, 306 grams, or at least mine was, so I weighed it, and then I um, separated it out. There's actually 13 colors total, which is perfect because the Radvent um, cardigan was is um, made for a yarn advent calendar. Uh, so I had just enough colors in the cake, so I separated every color, and nothing is in here because I have it all up there. I do have leftovers and then I made it into a ball. Um, so the inside is this color, whatever is left over from this color and so on and so forth. Um, and then this is all that's left of the band. Um, this one is dyed by myself. Um, I have to come up with a name for it because I did dye up a couple more yesterday as well for plans. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I think I'll just keep wearing this one for the rest of the video. So I'm going to get down on my butt so you can see my face. It was super nice. Um, I need to get blocked though. I'll probably, um, block it today. Maybe we'll see what kind of time I have. All right. Put this sock back. So that's all my finishes. Um, pretty stinging excited about that. I definitely need to get this sock. Um, go on the second one and then these need to go upstairs in my sock basket. That's not going to work that way because of the ruffles. I think putting ruffles like this on the end of a sleeve would be, uh, super freaking fantastic. So I might have to do that at some point. All right. What else have I worked on? I did do some more on my ranunculus. The Ranunculus by Knit Cafe Midori. 
there's many options for this sweater. Lace weight, short sleeve, long sleeve, all the way up to worst to weight, I believe. Um, I decided to punish myself and do it in one strand mohair. Not sure why. I am almost to the sleeves, um, splitting the sleeves. And from looking at the pattern, it looks like you bind off the sleeves as you split for the sleeves, which is fantastic because I would hate to try to pick up more mohair for sleeves. Just getting that done and then having just the body would be so great. Um, so this feels like a mess right now. Let's see if I can get it situated. Yeah, it's really hard to show you. The colors are crazy. It's mohair, so it's see-through. Um, I finished all of the, like, yoke detail. Like, there's those yarn overs and whatnot. I think this is where I was the last time I showed you. I got all the way down to, um, there's a couple of raglan increases, actually, and that's where I'm at right now. And then you divide for the sleeves and the body. So I just have, I think, four more rounds, it looks like. And then, yeah. So I gotta get this one going. I know, it's real hard. So the yarn for this one is Aloft by Knit Picks. It is their lace weight. It's their mohair. Um, this one's called Soul Hand Painted. Um, I bought it because it's called Soul. And I lived there for nearly five years. So I needed that. Um, it is a 72% Super Kid Mohair and 28% Silk. I don't know how well you can see that because my front camera does not focus for crap. But a loft. We'll see if I need the second one. I probably will. I mean, this is what's left of the first one. Still a decent amount. Get most of the body out of this one, maybe. We'll see. Let's get this in there. This in there. I have an extra needle in there. Get that put away. It doesn't even go to this project. It was just sitting in my bedroom, and I'm like, I don't want to lose that. So let's just throw this in a project bag so that it eventually ends up down here. Okay, what else? Um... I did bring my blanket over, my Northeasterly blanket, so I can show you. Um, Northeasterly blanket, it's by Skanigans. Oops, sorry, let me get to the front page so you can see the, what it looks like, because mine doesn't look like much of anything. So it's a bunch of these, um, like, chevrons, and you, you do that. <laughs> you do that so i'm using my magic not cake ball thing it's cake not a ball um these are all the scraps from projects i've done and a few extra scraps that i just have collected um so these are all my scraps well not all of them i do have A few more in there that I have not added. I need to start a second cake. Well, maybe just start a second ball um, and then turn it into a cake when I'm ready. Here's the last of, um, so this was a 50 gram skein. I broke my skein into two 50 grams and this is what was left of the 50 gram after making these socks. It's so not bad. Um. Okay, let me show you what I have so far. It's quite long. So I work on this during church um, on Sundays because it's Scrappy Sunday. Hashtag Scrappy Sunday. And I made um, Sundays my blanket day. It usually only gets um, worked on during church because I'll try to focus. I did this past Sunday. I did focus on maybe this or the sock. Probably the sock. Um, the March or May sock my May sock I think I focused on this Sunday evening so this just got church time from here to here I do change this every Sunday just to see how much I get done every Sunday or every time I work on it so there is that um, I can't tell you every yarn 
because I'm not entirely sure. I think I know this one is from uh, Homespun House. It was a little five gram mini, 10 gram mini, 10 gram mini. It wasn't this one, but I bought like five 10 gram minis from her. So I think this is one of them as well. Maybe this is the Hulville Christmas. And this one might be Polly. I don't know. I don't know what I did with all the Hubilation. This one might be Hubilation. I could be wrong. Um, I think this one's Polly. This one is Spectacular Yarns um, Blue Springs. So Spectacular Yarns, maybe Tequila Sunrise. And this one is a Ditastic um, on Etsy. And I believe this one is called The Lone Wolf Survives. It's the Sansa colorway. And then this was just a scrap I got in a swap um, a couple years. 2019. <laughs> 2019. Um, so yeah, that's as far as I've gotten. Um, I'm going to keep going until it is the length I want, um, you know, kind of from my foot to maybe mid chest here, um, to make it kind of like a lap blanket. And then I'll start the second, uh, the second one go up. I mean, I could, whew, I could stop now and have it, the, the Chevron stripes go this way. But I don't think I want to. I think I want them to go up and down. That is what I think. <laughs> Anyways. Or I should just go that way so that I can make, when I start adding them to the side, I can make a square. That way it won't matter which way it goes when I put it on my lap. Or on the back of this couch. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is my blanket. Very slow going. I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah. Last whip I worked on this week is my Hongdae shawl. Ew, is that a cat eye booger? Something. Hongdae. This is a um, shawl by Ashley Wemp. It is mosaic. And I just love it. It's so pretty. It is a um, a beast. But that's okay. So on Wednesdays um, this is my day to work on this. And I did not get very far on I got from here to here last Wednesday um, and yeah so I'm holding it upside down I have a really hard time seeing it in the camera like seeing the design but I'm hoping that uh, like even in person I'm having a hard time but I'm hoping once it's finished and I have it held back I can see it better it's just these, um, let's see if I can show you in the main picture. See, in the main picture, you can really see. I don't know if there's enough contrast between my yarns, maybe. You see how it's like these little loops? It's almost like a Greek um, mosaic type design, which is great for the yarn that I chose. Cause, but um, yeah, I'm starting to wonder if there's not enough contrast between my yarns. I might have to try to take a picture and do, um, you know, convert it to black and white and see um, how much contrast is between the two. But yeah, so my yarns um, are my own hand dyed. These are my um, color of the month yarns. This is January and February. So January is based off of Persephone and February is Hades and it is off of the Lore Olympus um, Webtoons, Webtoons comic, um, Lore, it's called Lore Olympus by Rachel Smith. Um, it's a fantastic little, uh, web comic if you are interested. Uh, it's all free. Um, yeah, the app is free. It's called Webtoon and reading is free. Um, the only time you pay for it is if you want to fast pass, which means that you want to read next week's or the weeks after 
ahead of time <laughs> before it's free. Um, but yeah, so I need to see if I made a grave mistake picking these two. I mean, it looks like they'd be great contrast, right? But I'm having a hard time seeing the design in this. Um, maybe it's just too bright or I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm going to still keep working on that and it'll just be, um, crazy, crazy awesome. But yeah. All right. So those are my knitting whips for this week. Um, we're going to see how well I can get the ranunculus, um, and my socks and yeah. Okay. So punch needle real quick and then some shop news update. Whoa. Yeah. So punch needle. I did get a little bit further. Um, I actually found a really good rhythm and things weren't turning out so bad. <laughs> Granted, I'm still probably not going to um, do any more unless I find a kit that is like, like I need it in my life. Like I kind of said I needed this one because it's, there's a design. Um, Cause it reminds me of Monstera leaves. So yeah, the only problem is, is I don't have a hoop big enough to do this. Um, that was all I could do before I started running into the sides of my hoop. And I, I doubt you can put your hoop on top of what you've already done. So yeah, I need to get a bigger hoop. That's it really. Um, what else can I say? Like I said, I kind of got into a rhythm. It wasn't terrible. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Apologize. Shop news. So the color of the month for May did um, shut down on the 15th. I always shut it down on the 15th every month um, for the pre-orders. Um, if you did miss out, that's okay. Um, don't worry. I do reopen it the following month. Um, as a die to order and you know, cause I know not everybody is thrilled with the idea of a mystery. Like I don't do mystery cross stitches anymore. I just, I need to see what it looks like before I even decide I want to spend my money on it or, you know, invest time into it. So the same with, um, yarn. I can understand why some people would not want to buy a mystery yarn because I mean, while I do show like a, an inspiration photo, like I choose each character. So May is Artemis and in Lore Olympus, she is a purple character. So, you know, you're going to get a purple yarn, but you don't know what it's going to look like. So there's still some, uh, mystery to it. Uh, so yeah, I do reopen it so that you can purchase it later. Or if you do get the pre-order and you love it so much and you want to buy more, you can, that's totally fine. Um, so yeah, I dyed up all of the pre-order ones yesterday and I tied up a whole bunch more, um, yarn cause I have all these ideas going in my head and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I finally bought myself some neon dyes. So I dyed up some neon. <laughs> yarn and I'm just like this is fantastic I can't wait to knit with it um so everything's in full skein still I the neons I do plan to break up into 10 gram mini sets um um because I saw this beautiful sock pattern um I will insert a picture um beautiful sock pattern I believe it's by candy shop yarns um fantastic uh somebody actually knit up this pattern with neons and a charcoal yarn. And I'm like, yes, need it. I mean, I did buy the pattern, so I already have it. Um, I'm hoping I have enough yarn left over from this, um, cause it's a nice charcoal color, but I did dye it more so that I can break them up into 50 gram skeins for anybody else who might want to buy, um, the set 
to make socks or honestly do whatever you want. But let me go ahead and get these out and ready to show. So bright, so fantastic. I'm getting sneak peeks, okay. Does this look similar? Okay, so it's not as dark. I might have to go in and re or um over dye these just to get them a little bit more dark. And they need to be. So you're getting nice sneak peeks of shop update. So I have charcoal, um, but again, I think I'm going to over dye these today just to make them a little bit darker. They are on the the lighter side. Um, I want them to be like this dark. So have to go over those. Um, and then here are my neons. We got neon pink. These will glow under uh, black light if you have one. I don't. <laughs> um, so I got to separate these into 10 gram minis. Like I said, I'm going to offer them as a set. Um, just the minis as a set. And then I'm going to break these up into 50 grams and you can add on to these if you'd like or buy it separate doesn't matter it's your choice so we got pink orange this one yellow look at how bright these are green so the blue is not a neon it's not a fluorescent this one will not grow glow under black light because they do not make a fluorescent blue but this one came out pretty well to go with the whole set um and then the purple look at that all right let me hold these up together can we even get them all in Ooh, there goes the yellow so yeah look at those oh, this is fantastic so you got, got my work cut out for me. I'm hoping that I can have everything um, ready and listed in the shop by Friday. Um, Cause Friday I get my second COVID shot and, and who knows how I'm going to feel um, after that. So I'm hoping I can get everything done this week. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, I definitely need to go ahead and over dye these. I just want them a little bit darker. I think it'd look um, just a hair better if it was darker. Dyeing with black is, is difficult. You think that you have more than enough dye in there, but you really don't. That's okay. And then lastly, I dyed, this one is mine, so it's already caked up, but I did dye two more. One more on sparkle and one more on, or one on just a regular sock base. Um, I do have two more that need to be dyed up but I wasn't feeling well the other day when I was what is it called I was prepping these so, so this is like a self striping um like micro stri striping yarn so it does take a little bit more time to prep it before I even dye it um and I just did not feel well so I stopped after two and yeah <laughs> so if it's pretty popular, I will go ahead and prep the last two and dye those ones up as well. Um, no name yet. I will insert a picture of what it looks like. I did undo it so that I could put it into the cake because I had just knit this straight from my Swift um, just to see how the stripes would work. And I really liked it, but I couldn't keep it and try to take it off the Swift kind of thing and put it in a cake to knit. So, but I'll insert a photo of what I had done as a test um, and I figured I'll probably just go ahead and recast this on as is I think I want to do a rolled cuff sock I think that'd be fun instead of you know doing a uh, a ribbon cuff so yeah um, I don't know what I'm gonna name this I had ideas um, before I even dyed this like I had a name idea and I was kind of hoping that this could replicate or, you know, inspire, what's the word, you know, just embody that name that I had, but it really didn't. 
So another um, a lady on Instagram, she really loves how this turned out and she said it, it really looked like a night sky while camping because um, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady, she's going to host the summer sock camp um, from June to August. Is that correct? I know it starts in June. So, so she, she might use the, she said she wants to get a, <laughs> get one of these so that it, um, possibly use it for the summer sock camp. Um, but I don't know what to name this like at all. So it's purple and a teal. And just no clue. Um, this is the sparkle base. It's very sparkly because it's, um, oh my gosh, I forget how much, 20% Stellina. So it's super sparkly. It does hold up well for socks. I do have a pair of socks made from this yarn. You can't even feel the sparkle. Like, you think that you could feel it, but it's, no, it feels like normal sock yarn. Just extra sparkly. So pretty. So yeah, I'll have one of these in the shop. I will have a second one to dye up if if need be. And that is it, guys. Um, I don't have anything else to talk about. And it's only 8.30, so that's not bad. 36 minutes, according to my phone. Um, so yeah, that is what is going on. Like I said, I do have my second COVID shot coming up this Friday. Um, I am a little nervous that I will not feel well this weekend, but um, I am prepared for that. And you know, it's funny is, you know, everybody talks about how sick they get for the second shot or whatever. And it's just like, I'm worried that it's gonna happen. And it's gonna happen because of like a placebo effect type thing, which will suck, but we'll see. I didn't even feel any soreness in my arm when I got the first one, like, I didn't feel the shot going in. Um, like the lady who administered it, she was super gentle and it was really nice. So I didn't even feel it. Um, I had no soreness. I mean, the only soreness is if I pushed where it happened, like I could feel a sore, you know, a little bit like a bruise. But other than that, I was able to do everything just fine. No, but who knows with the second shot, right? Um, what else is going on? I was able to order Advent um, yarn <laughs> yesterday. I was very shocked to see that it was in stock again. So I ordered, um, so everybody who has ordered an Advent from me so far, I have your yarn coming Woo -hoo! and then I can start dyeing it. Um, I did order a couple extra just in case. I am going to keep the listing open I think until the end of May and then June 1st, I will shut it down and you can't get any, um, advents from me. So if you want one, go check out the website, see if it's something that piques your interest. There's four levels, um, for budgets. Um, so we got, you know, 24 minis, one full skein of yarn with an add on. Um, same thing, no add on. And then you can either get a 12 mini plus full skein with add on or 12 minis plus skein and no add on. So there's four levels and they're all different prices so that if, um, the top advent is out of your price range, your budget, maybe the lowest one is in your budget. Maybe that's something you can do. It's totally up to you. Uh, no pressure. This is my first year doing an advent calendar, so it's more pressure on me. <laughs> um, we'll see. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, super stoked I was able to snag some yarn. It's been such a shortage of yarn, which is crazy, but we will see. All right. Um, that's it guys, that's all I have.
Oh, it's not all I have. Last week I had haul. I had a yarn haul and I forgot to show you and I'm forgetting to show you again. Great. Okay. Maybe next week I'll remember. All right. Bye.